What's up guys? We got another Cyrax video. He's back on YouTube a day after quitting. This time, time's up trolls. So, let's check it out. What's up y'all? So, I've just been advised by my team to, you know, proceed with things as normal. So that's what I'm gonna do. Whoever gave you that advice is giving you terrible, terrible advice. I am going to be uploading on here a lot more. Now, I got a little message for all y'all little trolls from a very good friend of mine from overseas. And this is somebody that's been watching me for a while now. And he reached out to me recently. And we're gonna call him, like just for to protect his name, we're gonna call him, we're gonna call him Jimmy. Now Jimmy told me to give you Marty, you William, and all you motherfucking trolls a message. And that message is this. I got a motherfucker over in the UK. As well as his team all over the fucking world. That's coming after you motherfuckers to expose y'all for the shit y'all are doing. Oh good. This is just a brand new plan that you've never tried before and you've never failed at before. Amazing. Y'all are running an organized crime ring. Y'all are a bunch of fucking criminals and terrorists. And y'all are going to be fucking exposed. Y'all are going to be brought down. And you guys will be arrested and dealt with in the proper manner through courts. You mean like what you're going to have to deal with in a few weeks? Because you assaulted that guy with a bat? Because you're an idiot? And through all the shit y'all have done, y'all are screwed. Y'all are going to be dealt with. You guys are going to be locked up. You guys are going to be exposed for the crimes that you guys have committed against me and everybody else. Every one of y'all's victims. Guess what? Y'all motherfuckers are getting exposed and every one of your victims is going to get retribution. Every one of them is going to get some form of relief, whether that be, you know, y'all just getting exposed and them being able to come back, whether it be y'all getting locked up and them being able to do their shit, or whatever that may be, but just know this, that I got somebody overseas that will and is going to expose every single one of you motherfuckers for what you guys have done. Cyrax, how many times in the past has someone buddied up to you and claimed they're gonna help you take down the trolls only to be a troll themselves and fuck you over and make you look like an idiot? I mean, if you thought about this for a fucking second, you would see it's happening again. I'm not afraid of you motherfuckers. You guys are gonna get dealt with. You guys are gonna get locked up. By the end of all this, this courtship this is just the very beginning, bro. This courtship this is just the beginning of your guys' downfall. This is just the fucking beginning. Because I am winning this case. I am going to win this shit. And after I win it, you motherfuckers are all going to get exposed. And you guys are going to get shut down. And guess what? I'll be able to get my fucking life back that you sons of bitches took from me for the last five years. And all your victims, the people that you guys victimized, are finally going to be able to fucking come out and say something against you motherfuckers. So to all y'all trolls, I say this. Sit and rotate, bitch. So, that's amazing, Cyrax is just going to flip it on all the trolls. And that's where I was going to end it. But, 
He uploaded another video while I was recording this. So let's just fucking go into that one too. MBM is a lazy slob coward. Let's check it out. What's up y'all, this is the continuation from my last video. So yeah. And also something I wanted to point out in my last video that I didn't get to point out is this. Marty, why are you such a fat piece of shit liar? You know, you've done this before. I don't think calling Marty fat really bothers him that much, especially coming from a little tiny goblin. I mean, you sit there and say that you didn't kill two prostitutes, that you didn't kill Jamie, but we all know you did, motherfucker. Otherwise, why would you sit there and ban people for speaking about it, bro? I'm sorry, but if you ask me, I truly feel like you did kill those people. I truly do believe that you did murder those prostitutes and that you did kill Jamie. Well then it's a good thing no one's asking the stupid little goblin who believes everything people tell him who murdered who. Oh by the way Marty just for the record I do have factual evidence to show that Jamie never loved you. If anything, she fucking hated you. Do you know how many times me and Jamie spoke outside of YouTube? And how many times she sat right there and told me that she couldn't stand the shit that you do to people? So this is your ultimate plan? To try to hurt Marty's feelings? I mean, even for you, that's pretty fucking lame. Now let's be honest, you are a fat slob, you are a piece of shit, I mean, you hire a maid to do work that you could clearly do yourself, I mean, Jesus, it's no wonder your fucking ex left you, bro, it's no wonder, you're a piece of shit, that's a slob, you live off of mommy and daddy's money like a bitch baby. You murder three women. Cyrax, you're a slob. You live off your mommy's money. You've never had a job in your life. You killed your ex-girlfriend, Heather. What the fuck are you talking about? One of those people being a very close friend of mine who hated your guts who you murdered and you wonder why all your exes leave you it's cause you're a psychopathic little bitch you're a fucking piece of shit Marty I mean what do you hide up in there man I mean look at that beard bro I mean look at that big ass fucking beard you got going on bro I mean what do you do you hide the fucking TV remote up in there motherfucker your ass probably has a whole ass fucking TV dinner up in that bitch. And now you're gonna make fun of his beard? Like you don't have the grossest, scraggliest, most slobbered covered disgusting beard that anyone in the world has ever had. For all we know, all them planes that went missing over the years in the Bermuda Triangle your ass probably went to the Bermuda Triangle, found that shit, and stuffed them in there for later on. That way, when your ass gets desperate and running out of money from fucking with people, you can get rich off that shit. I mean, dude, look at you, man. You're so goddamn fat, you can't even see your own goddamn dick, bro. I mean, who are you trying to be? Omaga? I mean, the fuck, dude? What are you trying to be, Rikishi? A sumo wrestler? You trying to be Yokozuna? Alright, if so, bro, <laughs> good fucking luck. With the way your ass smells, bro, 
Every wrestler up in there need a fucking hazmat suit just to wrestle your ass. Cause your ass smells so goddamn bad. Your ass probably ain't taking a bath in a goddamn fucking year, fucker. I mean, look at you, man. You're short. You're fat. You're lazy. You're a fucking slob. You dress like shit. You hide goddamn TV dinners and TV remotes up in your goddamn beard. You hire fucking mates to do work that your dumb ass should be doing your damn self. So Marty, do yourself a favor. Stop being a lazy fucking pussy, bitch. So, I guess, Cyrax is just gonna take his life back by calling Marty fat and having a gross beard. I don't think that's gonna work out, but we'll see. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.